This particular lava has a very special problem. It's a cascade damsel, and it has to snatch prey that is swept past it by the rushing water. Cascade damsels are very rare and live around just a few Central American waterfalls, like this one in the mountains of Costa Rica. The adult male has to perform his courtship flight under very difficult conditions indeed. Somehow, he's able to fly even when he's dripping wet. And he shows off to the females by actually flying through the cascades of water. To be a good breeding territory, the vertical rock surface has to be covered by just the right amount of water. Too deep, and prey may be out of reach. Too shallow, and the larvae could be picked off by birds. A female will only mate with a male if she approves of his choice of territory. And this one, it seems, does. This is it, and she carefully fixes her eggs to the rocks. But not all damsels need great areas of open water for breeding. In the rainforests of Central America, like this one here in Costa Rica, there's a damselfly that has managed to break the link with open expanses of water like rivers and ponds. It's also one of the most spectacular members of the entire family. The helicopter damselfly, the largest in the world, with a wingspan of up to 20 centimetres. The males tend to frequent sunlit patches where the females can see them easily, and they have a special lazy, flapping way of flying that is in itself an invitation. But although helicopter damsels can live away from rivers and streams, the females nonetheless require a little water in which to lay their eggs. And there is just enough in this little hollow here. And with luck, she'll come down. into the water. 